Kittitas Conservation Trust mission is to conserve and enhance critical fish and wildlife habitat in the Yakima Basin. We're working on restoring bull trout habitat for the Kachis population of bull trout. The goal here is to provide a higher quantity and higher quality of habitat for bull trout species of the Kachis. Well, we're here at the Kachis River Restoration Project. We're at the downstream extent of the work that we're performing here, installing large wood structures, log jams. One of the issues we have here in Kachis is this river seasonally dewaters every year. We've got little juvenile fish. They just desiccate because the water goes away. Can't make more water, but we can try to make more habitat that is, has deeper pools that are connected with groundwater. Probably about 40 or 50 years ago, there was clear-cut logging that happened in the floodplain right up to the banks of the river. And what we're trying to do is restore that channel stability uh, that was lost because of all the old trees that were pulled out of the floodplain and in the channel. So we are trying to enhance those features in the channel so the bull trout have a higher chance of survival. What we're looking at here is a mid-channel large wood structure, a mid-channel jam. Um, so the purpose of this is to partition flow during high flows to create more uh, complexity with that flow structure, as well as providing these deep scour pools and provide a lot of cool little places for fish to go and hide and be away from the predators and also have that connected groundwater so they won't die because there's no water. Part of the reason that we're so driven to do these types of projects as a tribe is that we know how much the land is given to us. We know how much the bull trout and every other member of the food web in these areas have given to us. And so it's our responsibility to give back to them and to continue to support them and not give up either. We have the remnants of what's remaining of the old growth forest. These are large diameter trees. And these are the types of trees that once inhabited this whole valley and floodplain. And what we're trying to do with these log jams is mimic that that structure in the creek channel when those bigger trees fell in. But we're hoping that this will help retain more of those juvenile fish so they can thrive, go out to the reservoir after two to three years, come back and spawn in six to seven years. This habitat project encompasses about a mile of the river and the associated floodplain. The habitat projects that the KCT can administer and oversee fills a void. Every time we do a project like this successfully, we get a little bit back of what was lost. Groups like the Kittitas Conservation Trust bring a lot of capacity to help us do our job of restoring areas that are degraded. I'm just super excited to see how the creek and the floodplain change and become that restored area that we're hoping for.